Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel talks. A little more than a month left for the official release of the Alpha 3.0 update during this year's Gamescom. And July is going to be a quite hard month, it is going to be quite hard to endure not only the heat wave, which is right now relentless, but also the anticipation for this very important milestone. We have been already through many delays since the first time the production schedule report for the Alpha 3.0 update was announced, but this latest delay that was announced last Friday is going to be especially hard because we know that we are approaching the end of the road, the end of the waiting, and we're getting very close to this very important, this huge milestone for Star Citizen. No matter how frustrating getting your favorite game, getting our favorite update for Star Citizen delayed, might be, it is understandable if we take into consideration how important this update is going to be for Star Citizen, how massive it's going to be and how much will transform, will change the Persistent Universe and Star Citizen itself. After all, it's not like we are sitting in the dark, not knowing what is happening. The developers are sharing their work, are sharing their plans and their changes regularly. We get a new cool stuff to see every week and we know that progress is happening. We know that the game is developing well and when we will get it on our hands, we are going to be very happy. But still, it sucks to wait. So today I would like to talk and discuss of course with you about the official release of the Alpha 3.0 update during Gamescom, during the Gamescom presentation and discuss about what else we might see during that Gamescom presentation, although it is still very early to know what to expect, but we can always discuss about it. At the same time, I will try to present the whole process of testing a new patch, a new update, what kind of process the developers and of course the buggers are following. So if you are a new player to Star Citizen, if you are new to the whole PTU process, you will know what to expect once we will start getting the first builds of the PTU. Something else I have to mention is that many of you were saying from the beginning that we are not going to see Alpha 3.0 before Gamescom and you were right, I'm glad I didn't bet with any of you. I was very optimistic, I thought we could get the Alpha 3.0 before July, but Gamescom and the end of August it is. Before we go ahead and start our discussion, start talking about the Alpha 3.0 update, please allow me to say hi and welcome everybody new to the channel, welcome them to our channel talks. Channel talk is our monthly series where we discuss with each other and share our thoughts about the game but also the channel itself. It is a great way to have a direct communication and for you to tell me what you like and what you dislike, not only about the game, about Star Citizen, but the channel itself, what would you like to see more and what you wouldn't like to see again. And for me, of course, it is the perfect opportunity to share my thoughts about what is happening with the development of Star Citizen, any general some ideas I might have with the channel and the future of our community. So welcome to the channel, welcome to our channel talks, please feel free to share everything you have in mind, please feel free to tell us what you think, leave a suggestion, leave your opinion, tell us what you would like to see next, or simply say hi. So let's go ahead and talk about the official release of the Alpha 3.0 update. After many delays, it is now planned to happen sometime between August 21st and August 25th. This means that we are going to get the Alpha 3.0 update during Gamescom, a little before or a little after the presentation or even during the presentation of Star Citizen at Gamescom, since Gamescom this year is happening from August 22nd to August 26th. There is a slight chance that the release is going to be delayed again, but I think we are going to get Alpha 3.0 one way or another during that Gamescom presentation. What I mean by saying this is that even if we don't get the official release during these dates, during the presentation, we are going to get the 3.0 in the form of a white PTU no matter what. This is what I believe. I think it will be very bad for CIG to not release Alpha 3.0 in any form during this Gamescom. 
I honestly believe we are going to get Alpha 3.0, the official release, and if not the official release, a wide PTU for all the backers during the Gamescom presentation. And this is mainly because the patch is pretty much done, it's pretty much complete. In the latest message CAG has left for us on the production schedule report, they have mentioned that most of the features for the Alpha 3.0 update are complete. They are mainly working on certain bug fixes for item 2.0 ship conversions or working on some applications like the personal manager application, cargo manifest application or even the hologram feature for the new render detection system. The main reason they gave for the latest delay was that it happened for optimization reasons and user experience improvements. So we could say that they are finalizing the details for an amazing product. Now whenever there is a new update coming to Star Citizen, CIG is following a certain process, a certain procedure in order to release it to us, the backers, and make sure that the game is bug free, as bug free as possible. This is happening with the PTU releases, with waves of PTU releases that are given to the backers, to groups of backers, to test the PTU, to test the new build and inform CAG of certain bugs, if there are any bugs. Usually there are bugs, it is logical. The first step of this process is always the Evocati PTU, which is planned to happen sometime between July 20th, which is next Thursday, and August 3rd. Now, I keep saying how important the Evocati PTU is for the Alpha 3.0 update and this is because it signifies the beginning of this update. It signifies the point at which CAG feels confident about the product, about the Alpha 3.0 and think it's ready for further testing by the backers. The Evocati testers is a group of 800, if I'm not mistaken, backers that spend a lot of time playing the game and searching for bugs and they have helped the community and of course CAG tremendously by finding and reporting bugs and helping CAG to deal with them. From what we have heard I think the Evocati group is going to increase for the Alpha 3.0 update because of how massive this update is going to be and how important and we don't really know any numbers yet but I think it will be around 1000 maybe a bit more. What follows after the Evocati PTU, once CAG feels confident to start inviting more players, more backers to the PTU builds, is the first wave, where additional backers, the first wave testers, are invited in the PTU builds, and sometimes along with them, the subscribers and concierge backers are also invited. From here on, the process is quite self-explanatory, they keep adding waves for new backers and they keep inviting new backers until all the existing backers of Star Citizen have access to the PTU. So before the release of the Alpha 3.0 update, all the backers will have access to the wide PTU and they will have the opportunity to test these amazing new parts before the release to see how cool it is and what they can experience in game in the expanded persistent universe. One thing I have to mention and one thing that you have to remember is that no progress is transferred through the patches, through the PTU patches and of course to the live build. Everything is being wiped as soon as we're getting a new PTU build or as soon as we will get the official release. The first wave for the white PTU is planned to happen sometime between August 7th and August 18th and after that additional waves will follow until we can reach the Alpha 3.0 official release which is planned to happen during Gamescom. Like I have mentioned before there is a slight chance to delay the official release one more time but I think we are going to get this update no matter what during Gamescom even if it is in the form of a white PTU for all the backers. It will be quite unrealistic to think that CAG is not going to give us Alpha 3.0 during Gamescom. I think it will be a very bad move for PR reasons, for CAG and Star Citizen itself, and I honestly don't see it happening. Alpha 3.0 is going to be the most important milestone for Star Citizen because it will introduce the planetary tech of CIG, the planetary tech of Star Citizen, 
to the gaming world. It will land the first moons and allow us to perform the very first planetary landing in the game. But that's not the only reason why it is very important. It will also add the first professions in the game and give to the economy of Star Citizen the opportunity to start taking shape. With the Alpha 3.0, trading, smuggling and piracy will be added to the game and obviously we're going to get a lot more improvements on new missions, on the NPC, dedicated mission givers Miles Eckhart and Ruto as NPC and we also have to mention that Miles Eckhart is completely now controlled by Samsamsion. It will be the first expansion of the Persistent Universe since Alpha 2.0 when we got the Persistent Universe for the first time and it will be a first step towards getting the full standard system in game. And like always with every new update we are going to get new weapons, new vessels, ships that will allow us to perform all the new professions that will be added to the game and of course prepare us for what will come next with future updates. So in my opinion what we are going to see in this year's Gamescom is an amazing presentation of the Alpha 3.0 update and the procedural planets and the planetary tech of Star Citizen. This will happen one year, exactly one year after the first announcement, after the first presentation of the planetary tech that happened in last year's Gamescom with obviously many delays from what initially was announced as a release date but again with obvious improvements on the planetary tech and an overall much better product. At the same time, it will be a very good opportunity for CIG to announce, to present the Alpha 3.0 update during Gamescom because this will give to the update and of course the game bigger exposure and bring more audience to the game. Are we going to see anything about Squadron 42? I honestly don't think so. I'm not sure. It's still early. I've said before, it's still quite early to discuss about Gamescom. I don't really think we will hear anything about Squadron 42 on this Gamescom, simply because Alpha 3.0 is that important for Star Citizen. I believe CIG will focus on a no-inspiring and flawless presentation that will make everyone to talk about the planetary tech of Star Citizen and the Alpha 3.0 update, and they will focus on creating that presentation. I don't believe they have the time or they can divert resources right now to create something about Squadron 42. They could show something, but it will not be as magnificent as Chris Roberts would like it to be. So I think they will skip Squadron 42 on this Gamescom and CitizenCon that will follow this year will have Squadron 42 as its main focus. It has been way too long without news about Squadron 42, so sooner or later they will have to present us something, they will have to say something about their progress on Squadron 42. We keep seeing some scenes, we keep seeing some pictures, we keep hearing how progress is going well on Squadron 42, but we haven't seen anything. And I think CitizenCon this year might be the show that will be dedicated to Squadron 42. I really hope to. I would love to hear more about this first part of the Squadron 42 trilogy. So this is everything I want to talk about. Games compresentation is when we are going to get Alpha 3.0 one way or the other. This is my opinion and I would love to hear what you have to say about the latest delay and the Alpha 3.0 release. Do you think we are going to get the live build during Gamescom? or just a white PTU for all backers. And what is your opinion about Squadron 42? We might see something, there might be a mention about it, but I highly doubt it. I think CIG wants to make a celebration about Squadron 42, so as something really good and dedicate an entire presentation to this important part of Star Citizen as well. So I think CitizenCon is more likely to have Squadron 42 shown rather than Gamescom which is going to be all about Alpha 3.0 update, this very important milestone for Star Citizen. For one more time I would like to thank you all for the amazing support you show to the channel and me, for your love 
It really means a lot to me. It is what makes me going and it is what makes me having fun creating my content and of course sharing my thoughts with you and hearing what you have to say. Thank you very much for your support on YouTube, on the subreddit and on Spectrum. You are amazing and we will have a lot of fun together as a growing community talking about Star Citizen and playing Star Citizen. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you next time. Bye bye.